It's me, Carl. Welcome to KKTV. Focus. I was asking who, as in who are you talking about? Oh, duh! My buddy Andy. He's down in the dumps today and not like literally in a dump. Not like last time. He's just sad. But not because he's in a dump, like last time. Oh, wow. Well, you're his friend, right? I know, but I did everything I could. What did you do? Everything. I sent him a gif, sent him a heartfelt text, literally everything. Well, not everything. What are you talking about? Well, let's take a look at what ha what's happening with Job. I thought his story was done. What do you mean? Well, look at it. Job's a good and righteous man, loves God. A lot of bad things happen to Job. Job talks to God, God talks back, and then boom, God rewards Job for being faithful. It's the perfect ending to a perfect Bible story. You would think, but in the middle of that story, something really important happened. You see, Job was in the middle of losing everything. He was very sick and becoming bitter over losing everything like his animals and his family. His life was a mess, and Job was probably at his lowest moment. I know, I know, we've been over this, and then he talked to God, and things got better. Yeah, but that's not all. Mm, what else could have possibly happened? Well, it could have been a huge turning point for Job. Something to help him turn from a very dark time in his life to possibly having hope for better days. Tell me, what is it? I need to know. Friends. Yeah? Friends. Yes, Maisie, we're all listening. What? <sighs> friends. Stop saying friends. His friends helped him when he was feeling low, Carl. Oh, okay. So, his friends must have done something crazy big to help him feel better. What was it? Was it taking their little sister's kitty bowl and filling it with brownies and whipped cream with bags of spore bits on the top? No. This help didn't come through gifts or even through any words. It came in a way that Job really needed. That sounds impossible. What did they do? They showed up. Huh? They showed up where? To Job. They went to where he was. Okay, and? <sighs> That's it. That can't be. There's got to be more than that. There isn't. You see, Job's friends showed up when Job most needed them. When they got there, they looked at Job and were shocked. They couldn't believe how sick Job was really was. And Job was so sick, they could barely even recognize him. Whoa! Exactly. They felt so bad that they sat there with him and mourned with him. They felt his sadness and supported Job when no one else would. Wow, that's huge! It really is. Now, a thoughtful gift or a message of encouragement is a good thing, but different situations called for different kinds of help. And when our friends are really in bad spots and feeling really big feelings, we might feel like there's nothing we can do for them. But sometimes, showing up is the best thing we can do. So just being there can mean a lot? That seems like such a small thing. 
It kind of is, but the smallest thing can make the biggest differences. Wow, I don't know about you, Journey Kids, but today's lesson on Job really taught me some things. Today's big idea is we can be a big help in small ways. Can you say it out loud with me on the count of three? One, two, three. We can, we can be, be a, a big help in small ways. And now can we say it in a really small voice? Ready? One, two, three. We, we can, can be, be a big help in small ways. the doctor say when the nurse told him the invisible man was there? Oh, I'm not sure. What did he say? Tell him I can't see him. Oh, good one. <laughs> what do vampires do at 11 o'clock every night? Mmm, what, suck on blood? No, they have a coffin break. <laughs> that's really funny. They look sad, right? I wonder why she's sad. Maybe she doesn't have anyone to play with. Or maybe she misses her mommy? I'm not sure anything I have to say would help. I'm so little! I'm a bit nervous, but I don't like to see my friends sad. Hi! Are you okay? Oh, hi, Callie. I'm not doing good today. What's wrong? You can tell me. I lost my dog today. She slipped out of the house and I couldn't find her. I don't know what to do. I can help you. How about we put up some signs around the park and around the neighborhood? That's a great idea. I can put my dad's phone number and a picture of my dog, so if anyone sees her, they can call us. Let's go. I think this is going to work. a lot of work, but I think it has to work. Now we wait and hope someone finds her. You also keep a lookout for the dog. Let's check out today's Bible story as we wait. It's time for today's Bible story. You remember Job, right? The really good guy that all the bad stuff happened to? His friends came to Job to see him sitting there in a pile of ashes covered in sores from the tip of his head to the tip of his toes. Ouch. What could they say? What could they do? They probably wanted to do some big things to help Job, but they couldn't. But one thing they could do was stay by his side. They simply sat with him in silence for seven days and seven nights. They showed true friendship by joining Job and being sad with him. It might seem like a small thing, but it was a big help. What Job's friends help us remember, we can be a big help in small ways. Friends, that was a great story. Job had some great friends. I'm so happy to have friends like you who give such great ideas. Guess what we found? My dog, we found my dog. Today's big idea is, we can be a big help in small ways. Let's say that together, okay? We can be a big help in small ways. Awesome! Friends, we can be a big help in small ways. Just by listening to a friend when they're sad and helping them find a dog. Those are small ways we can be a big help. Thanks so much for tuning in today and growing with me. It was so much fun! What was on the robot's gravestone? Hmm. I'm not sure what. Rust in pieces. Rust. Oh, like a robot. Yeah, I get it. That's a good one, huh? Hey, what job does Dracula have with the Transylvanian baseball team? Mm, I don't know. Maybe the umpire? 
No, he looks after the bats. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Hi, Jenny kids. We've been practicing a memory verse, so I thought, why don't you guys practice it with us? God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. Job 37, 5. Good job, Journey Kids! Journey Kids, my name is Isabel and my family loves to go birding. Today we're going to be teaching you how to set up bird feeders at your house. First you want to pick a good spot for your bird feeders so that you can see them easily from out of your window. Second, you might want to put up more than one kind of feeder and offer different kinds of seed to attract many different birds. Third, you might want to wash out your bird feeders every couple of weeks to remove any of the moldy seeds. Fourth, you should refill your feeders often so that you keep the birds interested and they might want to come back. The birds that you're most likely to see in the fall at your feeders are blue jays, chickadees, goldfinches, and morning doves. Happy birding! is going to decide to do. Hey, Carl. Hey, Lydia. Hey, I think we are all wondering what you're going to do. With what? With your friend Andy. Don't you think you should go help him? Oh, well, I guess you're right. I'll be right back. So did it work? Sure so did. It's great. So I'm kind of curious. What was wrong with Andy? Why was he so upset? Oh, he just found out the unicorns only live inside rainbows. He's just sad he'll never get to ride one. Is, is that true? Yeah. Oh, come on, not you two. Sit tight, I'll be right there, Lydia. Don't you worry, all right. See you later, Journey Kids. No. supposed to say the punchline. What job does Dracula have with the Transylvanian baseball team? Mm, I don't know what. He looks after the bats. He found it funny. <laughs> I found it funny too, that's why I told it. Okay. See you next time. That was horrible. <laughs> Good job, Jerry. Thunder. 
thunders, uh, thunders in marvelous ways. He does thing, great things beyond our understanding. Job 37, 5. Okay, big idea. Now let's see what Carl's gonna decide to do. Hey, hey Carl! Hank. Hi. Oh! Whoops!